Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday, January 12th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. My cat is around here somewhere, and I have with me this beautiful collage created by Linda Privetera in the season of light. It strikes me that there is one source of light shining from the center of this piece outward, but it's sort of behind everything, so it shines through. Everything moves from the center outward, though. Like our bodies with our heartbeat. We continue today in the book of Genesis. Adam and Eve have been cast out of the garden and Eve gives birth to two sons. First Cain, uh, which means Smith, who can make something. His descendant will be Tubal Cain, which really means Smith Smith or metal worker. And Abel, who is a herder of sheep. Cain works the land, Cain is a farmer Abel is a herder of sheep. And in an echo uh, that is anthropologically correct, there is a struggle between the farmer and the herder of sheep. Both create their produce, their fruit. Cain brings to God an offering from the ground, a something that he's grown. Abel brings one of his best slaughtered sheep and they present them to God. God likes the sheep better, he likes the meat. Cain is angry because God favors Abel's offering. So Cain takes Abel out into a field and kills him. God says to Cain, the earth gaped like an open mouth and swallowed the blood of your brother. And because of this, you will be cursed from the ground you will not have a harmonious relationship with the earth from now on. You will wander the earth. And Cain says, but everybody will kill me because they'll be so angry at me. I love that part because there's only supposed to be the family. <laughs> but all of a sudden there are all these other people. <laughs> God says, I'll put a mark on you to protect you. The mark of Cain is actually misunderstood. It's not a mark of shame, it's a mark of protection from God. So Cain again is outcast from the land, just as Adam and Eve were outcast from Eden. Our relationship with the earth was broken very early on. What a fascinating ancient narrative of the struggle between the herdsmen and the farmers. And this notion that it is our wrongdoing that alienates us from this earth. And when we treat one another well, we become more in right relationship with the very planet. And when we treat one another badly, we become cursed by the ground itself. That our relationship with this earth and with the environment is deeply, profoundly impacted by our relationship with each other and by our relationship with God. It is something that we're just beginning to awaken to, and here it is in the very first chapters of the first book of the scripture. If we want to be in right relationship with this earth, we have to be in right relationship with each other and with God. Such is the lesson of Cain. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. Show us how to be in right relationship with you. Show us how to love you and to serve you in all that we undertake, that we may find favor in your sight, that we may find a harmonious relationship with this beautiful planet that you have made in all of its creatures. Guide us to heal that relationship as we heal our relationships with one another and with you. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ. Bless the dying, the hungry, those who are in need. 
Bless those who are lonely, the grieving. Our hospital workers, Lord, take care of them as they are overwhelmed by the numbers of people, particularly those who have not been vaccinated and who are sick with COVID. Give them strength, courage, boundaries. Help them care for themselves. Shore up our hospital system, Lord, and bring peace to this world. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.